Hello everyone, my name is Joseph Gardini and I'm the product demonstrator and trainer here at Dagis. I'm excited to be here to show the self-export tool built into the Dagis Edge, our e-discovery platform. Our self-export feature within Edge allows you to export data from our system in a document-ready production format. This feature is used in a variety of ways. For example, it can be used for small supplemental productions of ESI to large-scale exchanges of data. In short, the self-export feature in Edge gives our clients end-to-end -end control of the production phase of the EDRM. So let's go ahead and show how this feature works. So right now, I'm already logged into Edge and I'm in a document container that has documents that I want to run the export process on. If you take a look at the document list on the lower right hand corner where I'm circling with my mouse, you can see that I have my Bates numbers already in place and keep in mind that I've already completed my embeddings and endorsements on these documents as well. So once you've completed the groundwork, you could go in and create the export job in Edge. Now the first step to do that is to select your record, so I'm just going to go to the select all option here to select this uh, set of records. And once I do that, I'm going to go to the tools tab on the lower right hand corner and as long as you have the sufficient user rights you'll have the export option available right here in the lower right hand corner so the first thing I'm going to do once I'm in there is give a brief description to the export job and then from there I'm going to choose a template and the template is a set of my previously saved export settings and then once I choose a template, I'm going to check the use email notification box uh, because once the job in Edge completes, I'll receive an email telling me that the export is complete and I'll receive instructions on downloading the data as well. And if I click on next on this screen, I'll get my export output settings. So I could see that I have my redaction settings up above. I have my image settings, so if I want black and white or color, and if I want my TIFFs or PDFs for the export, I have my full text settings, and I have load file settings as well. I also have settings to set how I want the, da the data to be mapped out in the export process. And if I click on Next. So once I've completed my settings, it will show me the fields that will be included in the export. Uh, down below, I have my delimiter settings and from there I click on next and then I'll click finish and once I click finish that submits the job to our bank of production servers that are housed in our data center that will execute the export job and in a moment I'll receive that email uh, saying that the export job is complete so once the export job is completed I know that I can go to the next step in Edge and the next step would be to go into the export job status and once I'm in the export job status I can take a look at the export job I just pushed through and it tells me that it was completed and I also have my detail sheet that gives me uh, my audit trail and accountability information that I need to make sure that the job was executed correctly and the documents and it documents the parameters of my job and if I click out this, and if I click download, it gives me links to the file, and I can download to my local station, or I can download to an encrypted drive so that it's ready for production. So that concludes this overview of the self-export tool in Dagis Edge. Be sure to check back soon for additional videos on Dagis Edge and other Dagis offerings. Thank you.